What's going on everyone? Austin John Please here and today I'm going to be going over how to get the Hylian Shield in Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. This is a video that I would have made sooner, however, I was in a mentality that I was in Breath of the Wild, which is, well, I shouldn't get this yet because if I increase my experience, it's going to be better. But now that we have a way to repair and upgrade shields that we've obtained throughout the world, boop, now there's no reason to not get the Hylian Shield as early as possible. And you don't have to do anything in order to get it. I'm talking like it is one of the simplest things to do. You don't have to have anything unlocked. You don't have to have any shrines complete, nothing. In fact, I'm going to do it on a save that has nothing on it. This save right here has pretty much nothing. It's just scan some amiibos. It doesn't have anything really fantastic. I have a dusk bow, but we're not attacking anything in this video. I don't have any armor other than the first Mies Ghost quest, and that's, you know what? We're going to wear the stock armor for the lols. I don't even have the towers unlocked in this game. Okay, so it's really very simple. All we need to do is make our way into the Hyrule Castle moat. So we're going to make our way to this location. Luckily, there's a very large land structure right here that we can go to. Now, you don't have to go to the floating part of Hyrule Castle. We're going to make our way to the water part of Hyrule Castle. Let's just go ahead and get a horse so this is faster. I'm now just north, well, almost north, of Hyrule Castle moat. Hyrule Castle moat is going to be right inside of there for reference on the map just north hyrule castle moat haven't been there yet but it is marked on my map so all we need to do is make our way down there and luckily enough on this platform right here are going to be some materials to help us get in there a little bit easier so let's just glide over as long as it's not raining you're fine oh i'll put my hud back on even though i don't need it and you don't really need it for this video sometimes like i don't know if i were to watch a video like this i'm like I kind of want to see where he is. Know what I mean? Okay. Anyways, yeah. Down there is all the supplies I was talking about. Let's just glide on over. There's no enemies right here. There's 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 nothing to stop you. And right here is all that we need, which is going to be this 4x8 board and one fan. Granted, if you're further in the game, you can grab this fan and then also that fan right there and then take a controller out of your inventory. Do I even have a controller? Nope, don't even have a controller. With this one board and this one fan, we're gonna go get the strongest shield in the game. Pop it right down on the water, climb on top, and the only weapon you need is this one stick, cause, cause we have to turn this on. So this is gonna go a little bit forward. If you don't have a controller, then you're going to have to turn it off. And then while on top of the boat, detach the fan, put the fan back on. And now we're just going to go straight this way. Uh, if you do it on an angle, sometimes these boards are a little wonky. So it always needs to be directly in the middle, facing the back, either from the short side or the long side. And doing this, our objective is that crest right there. Thanks to this wall, is this wall also gonna push me in that direction? Yeah, look at that, wow. It's almost like it was designed for this exact reason. Luckily, right here is the surface that you can stand on. And now all I'm going to do is climb up. You should be able to make it up here in just one stamina ring. Now, there is a little bit of a challenge here because down here, we're going to be running into an enemy that I like to call Gloom Hands. There is the Gloom Hands. As soon as the Gloom Hands spawn in, you just need to climb onto any vertical surface. I like this banister right here and I go above this marking. Now here's the thing about the Gloom Hands. If you were to defeat the Gloom Hands, then they're going to be spawning in a sub-boss, which is a little bit of a pain to deal with, especially when you only have one stick, stock armor, and no food. But they have a hindrance that they cannot climb vertical surfaces as long as they are at a 90 degree angle, and then they just despawn. Here you go, here's two fantastic items called Dark Clumps for Gloom Resist when cooking with food. And now that we're up here, all we have to do is light this, that one stick that I talked about, that's where I'm gonna use it. Granted, you could throw a fire fruit, you could throw a fire arrow, you could use a fire rod. I just like to do this with literally nothing at all. There we go. I just threw my fire stick. Shield opens up. And inside of this chest, 
There's our Hylian shield. Strongest shield in the game, get it right at the very beginning of the game. Now that I finally covered this, I can get this in my main playthrough as well, where, you know, I'm already taking down Lynels, and I have a power uh, 174 sword. By the way, video on that later today. If you have Tullin's forward gust capabilities, then you don't even really need the, uh, the, the board and the fan, because you could just glide on through just fine. There's even an area right here with two boards on it for you to just go ahead, whip out a rocket shield, and glide on over even faster. Now that I've taken down that mini boss, throw my fire. and my Hylian shield. Now there's a few points I wanna cover here. One, if your Hylian shield is near breaking, which takes an extraordinarily large amount of time, you can repair it. By the way, shout out to the Breath of the Wild crew who didn't get the Hylian shield until you made sure that you were able to get the 144 base power Hylian shield. You know, that real OG gang. Every Rock Octorock has the ability to replenish durability and enhance your weapons and shields. It can only do it once per life cycle of that enemy, so you would have to defeat it and wait for a Blood Moon for that enemy to come back and then regenerate. So it's gonna take the shield, it's gonna suck it in, it's gonna spit it out, save beforehand, because if you don't like your modifier, then you could always just reset. I just keep getting durability up, so I'm just gonna keep it on durability up. But anyways, you're gonna see that I have the glisten there. That means it's never been used once. If you're about to break it, or if you just have any durability missing at all, come to a Rock Octa Rock, and then after it has repaired your weapon or shield, be sure to knock it out. That way, next Blood Moon, he's going to be there for you. Also, he's gonna drop a fishy. It was a sizzle fin. If your Hylian shield completely breaks and you do not restore it, or if you attach it to something and it gets destroyed, a variety of different things that can happen, you can get a new one. Just, it's gonna take a little bit of work. At least for the setup. I mean, in the last game, it took a little bit of work. You had to do the entire Tarrytown quest line in order to unlock the vendor who could resell you a Hylian shield, right? Well, good news, it's not nearly as long of a quest. But if you're in a situation that you need to get your Hylian shield back, you can come here to Hateno Village, and then there's going to be two NPCs to talk to. One is Cece, the owner of Cece's clothing shop. She is a tailor. It's this house with the mushrooms over here. And then your first time speaking to her, there's going to be an interaction with the mayor. There's going to be several side quests you need to do about Cece and the mayor going for a mayoral election. I don't want to spoil who's going to win and who's not going to win, but after you do all that, you can make your way inside of Cece's tailor shop and Cece hiding back here has a private collection of rarities, AKA things that you have already obtained that you could have possibly lost. If you make your way all the way to the bottom of the list, you're gonna see the Hylian shield here. I just wanted to test some things and give you a little bit of supplemental knowledge. There was one situation in which she didn't ever have it in stock, which was I went to the Hylian shield I opened it up, I got the prompt of you can't hold any more shields, and then I chose to not take it because my shields were full, and then I fast traveled away, I came back, the chest wasn't there. I tried doing the same thing, I can't access the chest, the platform is still there, just the chest isn't, and then when I came over to CC, it didn't say available. That was the only condition I couldn't get it to be sold in. I tried dropping it and then she had it available. It broke and she had it available. So it seems like there's a lot of conditions that it is going to be available. Well, there you go, guys. That's how you are going to be able to get yourself the Hylian shield in Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, how you're going to be able to repair it, how you're going to be able to modify and enhance it, and where you can get a new one in case your Hylian shield breaks. If you found this information helpful, do me a favor, hit the thumbs up button down below. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing, turning on notifications. Until next time, Austin John out.